Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get started. Today, find out how the price of IOTA has changed and what the technical indicators SMA, Divergence, Stochastic RSI and MACD show. If you are unfamiliar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos below. Looking at the IOTA hourly time frame, the price went up with around 4.2% but then came quickly down again in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 30.0 cents. Jumping to the hourly simple moving averages, the current price is between the 100 and the 50 SMA. If the price bounces off the 100 SMA which is currently at 29.4 cents it could be seen as a support and the 50 SMA that is at 30.7 cents could be seen as a resistance to the upside. Breaking either way signals a possible further move to the corresponding direction. For longer price development, the daily time frames should also be considered as the shorter time frames are not as accurate. Looking for divergence in the hourly time frame, there was a bearish divergence and the price already went down. Looking at the hourly stochastic RSI, we can see that the crypto is being oversold because the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the lower region. A change in the trend can be expected or for the crypto to remain at least stable for some time. The K line is currently above the D line, which shows that the trend has shifted to the upside. Looking at the hourly MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the downside. But it's expected for the price to remain the same for some time because the MACD histogram shows that the momentum at the moment is shifting upwards. You should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. Jumping to the three hourly simple moving averages, the current price is between the 50 and the 20 SMA. If the price bounces off the 50 SMA which is currently at 28.6 cents it could be seen as a support and the 20 SMA that is at 30.2 cents could be seen as a resistance to the upside. Breaking either way signals a possible further move to the corresponding direction. Moving to the three hourly stochastic RSI, we can see that the crypto is being oversold because the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the lower region. A change in the trend can be expected or for the crypto to remain at least stable for some time. However, the K line still hasn't crossed the D line, so it should be waited to see if the trend will actually change to the upside. Jumping to the three hourly MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line which shows that the current trend is on the downside. We can expect for the price to continue going down or perhaps remain at least stable because the MACD histogram shows the momentum currently being strong. Jumping to the daily simple moving averages, at the moment, the price is between the 100 and the 200 SMA. If the price bounces off the 100 SMA which is currently at 29.4 cents it could be seen as a support and the 200 SMA that is at 41.8 cents could be perceived as a resistance to the upside. If there were to be a break either way, it means that there could be a continuous move in that direction. Looking at the daily stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the higher region which means that the price is getting overbought and soon a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation could be expected. Nevertheless, the K line has yet to cross the D line, so it's recommended that you wait and see if the trend does in fact go down. Jumping to the daily MACD, the MACD line is above the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the upside. As we can see from the MACD histogram, the momentum is indecisive at this moment. This means that we can expect for the price to remain the same for some time and you should wait and for the MACD line to cross the signal line. This will mean it's bearish. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching and know that every few hours new videos are uploaded analyzing different cryptocurrencies, so be sure to hit subscribe and not miss out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you ASAP. Also, keep in mind that you should make your own investment decisions as cryptocurrency trading is very risky and these daily videos are only an overview of trends and are a purely technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. See you next time. time.